Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum guys. Today we will be talking about this application. SPSS test selector. This is a very beautiful application which can help you in selecting the test. As you know that it is very difficult uh, for most of the people to select the test for the analysis of their data in SPSS. Uh, so this is a very beautiful uh, application. It has got a table as well as it has got uh, a calculator that can tell you about which kind of test you will be using in your SPSS depending on the uh, data type and uh, other uh, values of your data. So now let's go to this uh, SPSS test selector. Click on it. After the application is opened, the first option here says start find test. The second one is the table of tests. The third is for the calculator for sum of squares. So now let's begin with the first option start find test. Now depending upon your data and your objectives and your research, you will have to select one of these options. For example, you want to calculate the differences between groups, then select this one here they have shown us three options the first option on the left most side is the comparison of how many groups the default value here they have selected is two you can change it to three you can change it to one by changing the value you can see the test that you will be using for the analysis of your data is appearing on the bottom of the screen here you can see that the test you will be using is one sample t-test. Now let's change the comparison to two groups. These are two groups and they are independent. And the third option here is the parametric, whether the test is parametric or non-parametric. The test you will be using here is independent sample t-test. Now let's change the second option that is independent to dependent. You can see the test has changed to paired sample t-test. Now also let's change the third option where the default value is parametric. Change it to non-parametric. The test you will be using is Wilcoxon test. Change the first option to three and now the test you will be using is Friedman test. The last option changed to parametric. This is a repeated ANOVA. And now change the second option, the dependent, to independent. You will be using one-way ANOVA. Okay. Now you have selected the test. Just below the test, you can see a green button. So just click on that green button. It will take you to the test. Here, this is the definition of one-way ANOVA. Then below that definition, you have the assumptions that you will require for the test. Below that, they have given an example, hypothesis, and also they are showing you how will you perform this test in SPSS. So that's the most valuable thing of this application, which can tell you how to use this test using the SPSS. You can see. Here they say that you will have to click on analyze and then compare, compare means. After compare means, they have selected one way and over. And then you can see the second screen where you can select different tests. And then this one, this screen, and they are also showing you the results. The explanation of the results. They are also showing you that how will you write this data in your thesis or in your paper. Go back, go back. So if your test is related to the relationships between variables and not the differences between groups, then the second option is the relationship between variables. There you can see two options. First, you will have to select the options. From the first, you can select whether it is parametric or non-parametric. Just by changing it to non-parametric, you see they have shown you the Spearman's correlation test. The second option can be changed to non-parametric 
and then you can go to the test and see the details and how to report in your thesis go back to the third option modeling here they have three options uh, the first uh, two options for the independent variable and the second option here is for the dependent variable in the first two options the first one is the number of independent variables if you have two independent variables then you will have to use multiple linear regression and if they are three the same multiple linear but if it is one independent variable then you will use simple linear regression okay if it is one linear regression but it is not continuous it is categorical again the same simple linear regression now let's change the dependent variable from continuous to categorical then you will be using logistic regression now you can go to the logistic regression and see the example of how to solve this regression in your SPSS how will be the results and how will you report that in your thesis or paper go back and the last option is reliability and validity here they say the detailed about reliability and detailed about validity the reliability is showing the cron bosch alpha analysis just click on that the second is validity and you can see the validity as well in the home screen the second option is the table of tests just click on that table of test you can see the rows and columns so if you have one variable and it is parametric then it is one sample t test and if there are two independent variables the second row the second column and the first row parametric then it is a student t test so this is a very beautiful table and very useful for selecting the test for the analysis of your data the last option is calculator for sum of squares here you can put your values in these formulas and they will then calculate you the value so they say enter the data for example i put 2 space 3 space 4 space 5 space 6 okay 2 space 3 space 4 space 5 space 6 okay okay now it can calculate you just tap on the tick mark on the check mark and it will calculate different values for you so this was all about the SPSS test selector application I recommend this application for every research student because this is a very beautiful application it will help you in each and every step of the statistical analysis of your data so that was all for today Thank you for watching the video. Bye.